Okay, folks, uh, I got something cool here. Um, as you know, I was just at New York Custom Knife Show. And if you guys saw the last video, I was talking about how, like, the popular tables were the people, the people selling, like, Nux, bottle openers. Back in the day, it was a spinner. And this is a pretty cool little gift from a friend of mine. And it is, let me get rid of this. And it is the Ladyfinger. So if you guys don't know, this is from Nice Guy Machines, Archie. He sent me a nice love letter. Come to the nice side. So he found out, you know, because Facebook tells everybody everything. Uh, it was my birthday. So here's a lovely note from Archie. Happy birthday, man. I sure, I sure appreciate your part in this whirlwind. Um, so Archie, in the very beginning, which I'm going to say was maybe a year and a half ago, you know, asked me to review his, uh, his uh, whistle. And it escapes me right now what you call it. Shame on me. But he was pretty cool about it. So Archie always has nice packaging. So this is... Uh, I don't know if this is numbered, but this is a ladyfinger. There is this anarchy symbol, Archie. <laughs> this is made on 223. So these are in demand. These are not readily available. He might have just posted some uh, probably last night, but they fly out so fast. So I really appreciate that that Archie sent this to me for my birthday. This is logo. Because I know this is in demand. He didn't have to. Meaning he sent this to me. And people were asking for it. That's what a kind of person you have at Nice Guy Machines. He he takes care of his friends and his uh, family and his followers. But so this is the Ladyfinger. It's an everyday carry cuticle pusher, as he uh, writes in his uh, in his Facebook group. It's also a adversarial eyeball cleaner. <laughs> you make out what you think of that but it yeah sure it could be a, some kind of a tactical tool uh, and it's not but it could be you can pocket this and it's a pry bar that's the main design it's a nice pry bar made out of titanium right there overall length is four inches it's got a nice deep pocket clip he's a good machinist archie and whatever, it's got a thumb indexing divot. That's what Archie calls it. So if you want to really get in this, so for some fine prying, this is not a sharpened edge. It is a Kuridashi style hollow grind pry tip. So you can get right in there. You can see, you know, if you want to pop out a nail or scrape up some paint, definitely something useful. Open a bottle. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. It's got a little jimping over here for grip. Pretty cool. So, yeah, Archie's come a long way. He's come a long way, and I'm so happy that he's so popular with his followers. And so much so, there was a little bit of controversy on his Facebook page. So, apparently, people are employing bots to buy uh to beat everybody regular people like you and me when we want to buy one of uh, nice guy machines products some schmucks out there are using bots to get a jump on it you know and archie just you know some makers just let it go and they don't care they got the money it's fine not archie he did some detective work he figured out who were using bots and he canceled their order and he promptly put the products back on his page so that we can uh, get them he wants to get these out there uh, to people that are fans, to people that have never owned one, uh, trying to get their first one. And he's definitely got a strong following. Uh, and he's very loyal to his followers. So that's cool. So hopefully you can bang him out. It's a one man operation. Uh, he's not sending this to China. He's banging this out right here. I think he's in, I believe he's in Colorado. Don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, it's one dude making his dream come true. Providing EDC for us. Anyway, check him out. Nice guy machines. Nice guy machine company. All right, guys. So I don't have a...
right? This is a, this is a, this is a cut. What do you call this? This is a outtake. So I don't have a bead for it. And the, the bead that Archie sent me, um, I'm already using on one of his other prior bars. So I think I'm going to use this bead, which I'm not even sure where I got this bead from. But uh, I'm going to put that on right now. Yeah, no idea. I had a ton of beads, you know, from Scoopy Loops and Key Bar and other people. And, you know, during the move, I have no idea. It's somewhere in the house. I just don't know where they went. So I'm going to use this thing. It's pretty cool. If you guys remember who made this bead, just put it down. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue right now. I, I can't think of it. Of course, this lanyard's not cooperating. Come on, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Twist it. Twist it. Pop it in. Yeah, that's, oh, it's almost there. There we go. Yeah. So no fancy knots. <laughs> I know you guys are big into your all kinds of knots that you put on, but I think this will be good enough. Good enough. As long as it doesn't fall out. There we go. Good to go. All right, guys. Peace.